I love, love you, you, you love me. me. We're, We're a happy, happy family. family. Is that, the is that it? Worst yeah. party ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. Really? Yeah, I'm going to go to that party. I also want to say that that was not the song that was playing while mm. I was there. It was, oh, a, really? it was a Bowie song that was playing. But it's just not what was playing on the day when I was dancing. Mm. So then later I was like, You're wait. Like, I'm not dancing. <laughs> I'm not da- if I would have danced so a little rhythm. bit different <laughs> if I knew it was... Yeah. Gonna be, it's getting hot in here, you know what I mean? <laughs> Guys, congratulations on the movie. Thank you. Um, I saw it yesterday and I was blown away by it. Uh, your performances are amazing, so yeah, huge congratulations Thanks. to you all. Uh, so Zendaya, uh, I spoke to you recently for June part two, mm-hmm. um, and I asked you, who was the most competitive between you, Timothy, Austin, and Florence? Mm-hmm. So you can probably tell where this question is yeah. going. Yeah. <laughs> who's the most competitive? Yeah, who's the most competitive between you three? To be fair, I really don't think, and I don't want to speak for anybody, but I feel like we are not a competitive bunch. I feel like we might be competitive with ourselves, but not like with each other. I think there was a lot of support and a lot of like, you know what I mean? Like, I think you made a joke, like there was a lot of competition with your rock, paper, scissors that happened and every five tennis. minutes yeah. <laughs> and and mini tennis. But mm-hmm. um, but as far as like the actual work, I felt like we were all very supportive yeah, of each other. That's true. Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am fiercely competitive of rock You guys scissors. are really, it's really intense. And fives. Although you guys didn't, you weren't we quite into, into that. Fives is a huge hit on the set of The Crown. <laughs> and I was like, you know, these guys are going to love it. Yeah. And I remember I tried to teach you and you were like, confusing. stick yeah. to this. Yeah, just, this is easier. Um, yeah, I'm competitive. Okay. Um, so one of the things I love the most about the movie was the continual flashbacks um, and how it documented the timeline of your relationship. Um, and I love that it's getting hot in here. It's playing at a party the first time you all meet. Uh, so if I asked you guys to choose one song each to create the ultimate party playlist, what songs would you choose? I also want to say that that was not the song that was playing while no. I was there. It was, oh, a, really? it was a Bowie song that was playing. It was, wasn't that it? That plays I was later. I don't remember what it was. That's It plays later in the oh, scene. Oh, it does, oh, yeah. But it's just not what was playing on the day when I was dancing. Mm. So then later I was like, You're wait. Like, I'm not dancing. <laughs> I'm not da- if I would have danced so a little bit different <laughs> if I knew it was... Yeah. Gonna be it's getting hot in here, you know. What I, mean? I gotta say, it did come across like that. Okay, movie, so thank yeah, you. yeah. yeah. Uh, so one song for a party playlist. Yeah, ultimate party playlist. I always find that this is how we do it gets the party started mm. every time, <laughs> no matter what. It's a great choice. What's that song? As soon as I'm everybody so hears song titles, and then everybody. Just... What's that song? Like, dun 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 I don't. I know the song, but I can't think of the name of the song. We'll find out. We'll get back to you. Shazam. That's great. Yeah, we'll Shazam it. What about you, Mike? The Barney theme song. I knew you were. I knew it was coming. I knew it was gonna be something. He's a man. What? Barney themes. I didn't even know what that is. I love you. You love me. We're, We're a happy, happy family. family. Is that, the is that it? Is? Are we making that up? <laughs> I wasn't really I used thinking to love Barney. Don't do it. It's gotta be. It was very influential on it my really show. No, it was. No, seriously. There was a kid named Mike, and I wanted to be on the show. <laughs> oh, Mike. Well, there you go. It's an interesting playlist. Uh, you can <laughs> <laughs> Why? The worst yeah. party yeah. ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna go to that party. <laughs> Uh, so George, it must have been really uh, interesting and fun playing Patrick because he goes through such a turbulent journey in his career. Um, and in your career, you've played so many varied roles, whether it's Shakespeare for the National Theatre or royalty in The Crown. Um, is there a dream role at the top of your bucket list? Uh, and what do you look for in characters when you decide to take them on? Um, I don't know. I th- I've, um, yeah, I don't know that there's like one specific role, particularly for theatre, there's always, and I think we've got a kind of a history of that in. British theatre scene of like the sort of particularly in Shakespeare there's roles that I've always wanted to like tick off and and I think that's because we've got an amazing history of of that um one of them was Romeo and Juliet and to do that with one of my best friends was amazing Mm. um yeah I don't know there's beyond that it's it's always just sort of project to project I think there's like often something in a character that I feel like I want to explore you know with Patrick it was this kind of bravado and confidence that I felt like I hadn't explored before. So, yeah. Love that. Could see you as Bond. That's what I'm saying. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) I'm not sure I like it. You know me? What did you say? The gym? What was it? What did you say? The gym? What did you call the gym earlier? Or gym work? Oh, gym work, yeah. (laughs) Earlier I had to explain what, like, going to the gym. And I was like, and we did some gym work. (laughs) (laughs) I'd have to do an awful lot of gym work. (laughs) (laughs) 
Uh, Zendaya, um, I love the character development of Tashi and seeing her go from an amazing player to an incredibly driven coach and mentor. Uh, so I was wondering, who, would, who in your career would you consider a mentor hmm. to you? That's interesting. Um, I think that, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think that's something that I'm on, on, honestly always kind of looking for a little bit is like, because I think in our specific field of work, it's like everybody's careers are so different and so um, beautiful in their own way. And it's very hard to say. It's, it, I think it's different of like, for example, maybe like a corporate ladder where you're like, okay, this is where you start and this is where you, you know, it, there's, it's really hard to, um, I don't know, to know where to go. You're kind of just going from mm. like, like you're, you know, you figure as the jobs come, you figure it out as you go and there's really no roadmap. Um, and so for me, I think I definitely have inspirations, but I think, I don't know if I have mentors so much as like um, support systems and whether that be like, like my little literal mom, you know, or, um, I have like just people that I would consider like older siblings or um, I have literally have older siblings who I think also kind of provide that for me. And while our life might be different or things that like their career might be different, there's so much that I can learn and, and take from them. And I'm always very grateful because they, they always answer the phone and are there when I need them. So. Yeah. I love that. Um, I asked Florence uh, about a year ago and she said that basically anyone who's kind on set, you just sort of gravitate towards anyways. Yeah. In their brains and stuff as well. Um, time to wrap? Okay, uh, love that. Uh, before I go, I just want to see if you guys could finish my favorite quote from a movie. Cool. Um, it's four words. So if I go decimate. That little bitch. There we go. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> I haven't <laughs> seen it enough. <laughs> An amazing, that is a great line. It's yeah. a great line. It's an amazing movie, guys. Congratulations. Thank you so um, much. It's always Thanks such so a pleasure to talk to you. It's and good to see you. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, nice Thank one. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thanks. Can I ask the same girl? Come here. Which one of us? Hey, what's going on? I'm Kevin Hart. Hi, my name's Eric Stone Street. Hi, I'm Margo. I'm Journey. I'm James McAvoy. I'm Daniel Radcliffe. I'm Rebel Wilson. I'm Jeremy Clarkson. I'm going to be translating some Scottish tweets for It's Gone Viral. On It's Gone Viral. Ooh. On It's Gone Viral.